Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com with more secrets to unlock his heart. That's right, yours truly. Today, by popular request, I'm going to give you five signs a guy just wants to hook up with you. I get this question a lot. Have you ever been on a date with a guy and then the chemistry is just, yeah, baby, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Then there's that little suspicious voice that comes up in the back of your head that says, well, maybe he's just looking for a quick hookup. Well, some women think there are only two kinds of guys out there. The kinds of guys that are just looking for that quick hookup and then the guy that wants a relationship. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not necessarily true. I'm going to explain why right now in this video. Now, of course, it goes without saying that if you just want a one night stand, go for it. Hey, there's nothing stopping you. There's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with the occasional fling. But if you let yourself become merely a little booty call for him, you're going to discover it's much harder to turn that hookup into a relationship later on. You got to start things out with the right precedent. Don't just try to lure him into the boat and then stick the hook in his cheek. It doesn't work that way. Hookup only sign number one is he's calling you up regularly late at night. Let's face it, some guys are just trying to play the sexual lottery. He's going to keep calling you until he tries to catch you in that one horny night mood where you say, ah, all right, come on over. Hey, you know what? It does work, and if you play the odds, eventually it's going to work. But again, that tells you right off the bat that he's probably not looking for just a relationship. He's just looking to jump in the sack with you. Also, if he's never actually taken you out on a date of any kind, or if he doesn't at least offer to meet you in a place that is not 10 feet away from your bed, well, you know. One night stand, sign number two is he's not really interested in you. Now, sure, he's hot for some action, his hands are in nonstop exploration mode, and you're probably getting really turned on by just the level of interest he has in you. This is one of the ways that women can often get baited into sex really quickly is his desire will actually arouse you. Just the level of sheer um, out of control passion he feels for you is enough. But if he isn't digging deeper into your life and your personality, that's because he only wants to stay superficial. He wants to keep things on that level because he doesn't need details. He doesn't need any of the details of your life. And he's probably trying to keep some distance to avoid things getting complicated later on. If he's not asking about who you are as a woman, well, he's probably just looking for some quick action. Only looking for fun, sign number three is he's always on the prowl. Now, does he flirt and get a little bit body with you, but then he's also possibly flirting with other women everywhere you go? This is a guy who might date you, but he's not going to be settling down anytime soon. And how does he act when he's caught? Is he acting like, oh, geez, you got me? Or is he saying, eh, whatever. If he's not really focusing on you and he flirts with other girls, even though he knows you're there and you can see plainly what's happening, then that's him telling you, I'm just not that serious about us. Remember, it's not your job to change him. It's not your job to turn this kind of guy around because it, it does come across as kind of a challenge to you to see if you can make him be the committed guy, only to find out that he's not ready and he's not willing for something more because that's the only guy that you can actually create a real relationship with. It's the guy that starts right off the bat with that interest level. Or is it? Stick with me. I'm going to tell you more. You're only a friends with benefits, sign number four. He avoids all that relationship stuff. Now, if you're sending texts in the morning and you're not getting any response from him, there's usually two possible reasons. Reason number one is he's one of those guys that just doesn't pay a lot of attention to his phone. Possibly he's really genuinely busy and that's actually very possible. Or he's trying to keep a certain level of distance from you. He's thinking, hmm, if I let things go on a text conversation with her and if I keep it going, then I gotta pretend I'm really interested in her day and then when I text her, now we've got to do other stuff to distract us from, well, that'll stop us from getting to the horizontal bop faster. Got to keep this simple. This avoiding relationship stuff pretty much means avoiding all the patterns that might hint that you two are an item. And it's probably the biggest indicator that he's just a booty call. Stuff like uh, he doesn't introduce you to his family or his relatives. He doesn't introduce you to his friends. He doesn't take you out much, if at all. He rarely, if ever, initiates contact. He won't stay the whole night to cuddle and whisper sweet nothings in your ear. He won't add you on social media. Well, that one's a particularly big uh, sign right there because even hookups are usually friended. Uh, there's no prolonged time together. It's like going away for a week, weekend somewhere, not gonna happen. He avoids pet names like honey or sweetie or any of that because we know that there has to be a feeling underneath that and he wants to keep things with just having fun. And another sign that he also might uh, not be so into you as a relationship is if the sex leaves you a bit wanting. And this is because he's not all that concerned about your satisfaction. It's not just that he's selfish here, it's just that he's concerned about getting emotionally invested because most guys do consider part of their performance to be how much pleasure you get out of it. And finally, you're his booty call. Sign number five, 
he's telling you this straight up. If he's told you that he's only into it for the fun times and he says he's not that into a relationship right now, he's probably giving you all the hint you need, especially if he refers to you as a friend with benefits or any term that's kind of joking along those lines. You know what? He may even be open about seeing other people. There's a good chance he'll make it a point to hint or tell you this so that you don't get any wild ideas about wanting more from him than he can give. And again, sometimes the obvious is just too obvious to ignore. If you want more from a relationship, then you have to hold out for a guy who can actually give it to you. Find the strength within you to do what needs to be done. Don't just keep coming back to this guy hoping that you can pull a conversion. That being said, you can actually do it. There are guys that are just looking for a hookup, and this is huge. Just because he's looking for a hookup doesn't mean he isn't open for more than that. He's just in that mode of wanting to start it off that way. If he's younger and he's obviously into a single's life of fun and sexual adventure, well, let him go. He's probably not worth salvaging. But if he's a guy who has a past of being able to commit, he's had relationships in the past, maybe even married before, maybe a little bit of serial monogamy, well then maybe it's in your best interest to try and stick it out a little longer, see where this thing goes. But recognize one thing, this is a choice you're making. So if it doesn't come to fruition, if he doesn't eventually turn around and want that relationship, don't get all mad at him and don't get bitter. You made the choice. I'm just telling you that it is one of the best ways you can get a guy to do the turnaround. Stick with it and see how things go. Sometimes a guy just gets addicted to that cool hang out with the girl vibe and he wants to make you his girlfriend. Now, what if you could turn that guy with the potential to commit into someone who wants to go the whole nine yards with you? To some women, pulling a guy out of the friends with benefit zone sounds like an impossible feat, but it's one you definitely want to accomplish if you possibly can. Well, I've got a great presentation that you need to go see. Go on over to www datingadviceguru.com, little link you see below. Go to datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. And I'm gonna teach you a few things about how to make that guy wanna turn around and worship you, drop to his knees, and even be begging you to be his girlfriend. Go on over, datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com forward slash irresistible. I'll be talking again soon. Live and love with passion.